It's story time, and I'm going to start reading Sarah Week's book, Save Me a Seat. I attempted to read this a few years ago, uh, a couple years ago, and you'll see I still struggle with some of the names, which makes it kind of funny. It starts out with Monday, Chicken Fingers. Chapter One, Robbie. Most American, um, sorry, most people in America cannot pronounce my name. On the first day at my new school, my teacher, Mrs. Beam, is brave enough to try. Sir Yanye Ne, she says, her eyebrow, eyebrows twitching as she attempts to sound it out. Sir Yanye Nan, I say slowly. <laughs> she tries again but it is no better. I'm going to have to work on that, she says with a laugh. I laugh too. Suriane Reynan is my surname. My first name is Ravi. It's pronounced Ravi with a soft raw and a strong V. It is in Sanskrit, it means the sun. In America, people call me Ravi with the stress on the first syllable. That doesn't mean anything. Patience is a virtue, Amma reminds me often. She believes that with time, people will learn to say our names correctly. My grandmother tells her not to hold her breath. We moved to Hamilton, New Jersey a few months ago, May 13th to be exact. I am fresh off the boat, as they say. My father got a promotion at his IT company in Bangalore, so they transferred him to America. In India, Amma, Appa, and I had our own house with a cook and a big garden. We even had a driver to take us wherever we needed to go. My grandparents lived in their own flat nearby. Now we all live together in a townhouse in a place called Hamilton Muse. Things are very different here in America. Appa takes the train to work. We don't have a cook anymore, so Amma has to prepare all the meals herself. Our new house is much smaller than the old one. There is only one bathroom upstairs, which I share with my grandparents. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind so much, except that Paripa likes to take long showers, and Parima leaves her teeth in a glass, in a glass by the sink at night. I learned to speak English when I was very young. We speak mostly English at home, and I went to an English medium school. But for some reason, people here in New Jersey have trouble understanding me when I speak. I am trying to learn how to swirl my tongue to sound more American. My grandmother doesn't like it. Be proud of who you are and remember where you come from, she tells me. If you're not careful, you'll turn into one of them. Your grandfather didn't slave in the tea plantation so that his only grandson would become some rude, overweight, beef-eating cowboy. <laughs> I don't think Parima likes America. My school in India was called Vidya Minder, which means Temple of Knowledge. My new school is called Albert Einstein Elementary. Parima could hardly wait to show off to all her friends at home that her grandson had been accepted to a school named after a scientific genius. I'm not a scientific genius, but I am very good, a very good student. My favorite subjects are math, English, and sports, especially cricket. Boys and girls, please welcome our new student, Ravi, Mrs. Bean says after she has taken the roll call. He's come to us from all the way from India. Isn't that exciting? Mrs. Bean is short and round. When she smiles, her eyebrows touch each other. As I look around the room, a sea of mostly white faces stare at me. I feel a little nervous. It is my first day of fifth grade in room 506, and I am the only Indian in my class. There is one other, a boy named Dylan Samrim, but he doesn't count. He is an ABCD, American-born confused Desi. Desi is a Hindi word for Indian. I can tell Dylan is an ABCD <clears throat> because he speaks and dresses more like an American than an Indian. Tell us something about yourself, Ravi, Mrs. Bean says, smiling at me. Yes, ma'am, I say, standing at attention. Everyone laughs. Mrs. Bean claps her hand. 
Boys and girls, where are your manners? She asks. Go on, Robbie. We're listening. I push up my glasses and continue. My name is Ravi Surayangnan Yangung. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had trouble saying that name. It is a pretty name when it's spoken correctly. And I just shifted from Bangalore. Everyone laughs again. What's so funny, I wonder? Mrs. Bean claps her hands. Her eyebrows are twitching like mad. Boys and girls, it, is this how we welcome a new student to Albert Einstein? The room gets quiet. The spotlight is on me. I can feel the whole class staring. This is my first day of school in America, and things are not going well. Mrs. Bean turns to me. You can call me Mrs. Bean, she says softly, and Ravi, here in America, we don't need to stand up when, we, when the teacher calls on them. Do you understand? Of course I do. I push up my glasses and rub my nose. It's something I do when I'm nervous. Mrs. Bean comes over to my desk. She has a look of pity on her face. Don't worry, Robbie, she says, patting me on the shoulder. You can introduce yourself to the class later after you've had time to work on your English. We have a nice teacher named Mrs. Frost in the resource room. I'm sure she can help you. I want to say, one, my English is fine. Two, I don't meet, need Mrs. Frost. And three, I was top of my class in Vidya Mandir. But here's what I do instead. One, I push up my glasses. Two, I rub my nose. And three, sit down and fold my hands. My friends and teacher, teachers at Vidya Mandir would be Having a good laugh if they could see me now. Their star student taken for an idiot. What a joke. Mrs. Beam is writing out our homework on the board. I open my notebook and carefully cop copy down the assignment. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Dylan Sanraim staring at me. He looks like a movie star straight out of Bollywood. His long, shiny black hair falls over one eye. With a quick jerk of his head, he shakes it, his hair away. And then he smiles and winks at me. I smile back. Dylan, Sam Reem, and I may, uh, may be an ABCD, but I think he wants to be my friend. That was chapter one. We'll see if he does turn out to be a friend. And as you can see, it's okay to laugh at yourself when you make mistakes. I am terrible at pronouncing that beautiful name, but uh, I feel uh, like it make, might make you curious to go get the book and actually read what the name looks like instead of how badly I pronounce it. So, we're gonna see how Ravi, not Ravi, but Ravi, how he goes and adjusts to his new life at Albert Einstein Elementary. Until next time, bye-bye.